Hi guys, welcome back to Anyone Can Cook. If this is the first time you're visiting my channel, I'm Janie and today we're going to be making the creamy and delicious Italian risotto. So let's get started. You may or you may not have all the ingredients necessary for this recipe, so I'll tell you along the way different ways to substitute some of them. So let's start with five cups of vegetable broth. If you want to learn how to make your own, I'll show you at the beginning very quickly. And for that, you'll need about five to six cups of water, two stalks of celery, some garlic, a cup of carrots, yellow onion, some spices. I'll put down in the description the list of all of these ingredients and spices. Then also you'll need a pound of mushrooms. You can combine two different kinds. I'm gonna combine portobello mushrooms and white mushrooms. You also need some greens, or this is optional actually, if you want to add two cups of spinach or kale. Also a cup of white wine, Parmesan cheese, some garlic, two tablespoons of butter, some spices, arborio rice, and thyme. I don't think the equipment can get any simpler than this. We just need a saute pan, a spoonful of liquid, spatula, cutting board, a knife, and a tasting spoon. I really like this recipe because it's a different method of cooking rice. We're going to cook it very slowly. We're going to add liquid in different parts, let it evaporate. Then we'll see how the natural starch of the rice is going to create a creamy texture and it's going to be delicious. All right, guys, so making your own vegetable broth, if you have the time, it's so easy and it's great because it doesn't have any additives or preservatives and it's fresh. So I'll show you very quickly. So rough pieces of garlic. You don't have to cut anything very small. Half of the onion. Same with the celery, just big pieces, and carrots, since these are baby carrots, so I don't have to cut any of them, spices, and some thyme, and let it boil for about 15-20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes, all the vegetables are tender, the kitchen smells amazing so this is ready then we're gonna start by sauteing the onions and the garlic we are going to work over medium heat once the pan is hot then add some oil just a little bit because we're gonna add butter as well later on all right oil is hot When the onions become fragrant and they are a little bit translucent, then you can go ahead and add the spices. If you have seen my videos before, you know I like spicy. The reason why you see some red in here, just a little bit of cayenne in there. You know I like a little bit of heat on my food. Now let's go ahead and add the butter. All right, the butter is melted, so now we can add the rice. So, our body of rice, which is an Italian rice, as you can see, is a medium grain rice. It's a little bit translucent on the outside, and because of its size, it has a lot of starch, and it naturally develops a creamy texture when you're cooking it this way. If you don't have this kind of rice or you can't find it, use whatever rice you have, but I recommend maybe substituting it for sushi rice. If you use long grain or whichever you have at home, just add a little bit of cream towards the end. What we're doing here is toasting the rice. We're just gonna let it get hot, not brown. And once it's hot, we're gonna add the white wine. Now we can add some thyme and I'm gonna save a little bit for garnish. 
Now that the wine has evaporated, we're going to add one cup of vegetable broth. Cooking the rice this way is going to intensify whatever flavors you add to it. Any herbs, any seasonings. So try to add just a little bit of anything that you like. I actually brought the temperature to um, medium low. So we give the rice the chance to cook all the way through. And also I remember if you don't have white wine, you can substitute half a cup of white wine for a quarter cup of rice vinegar or a tablespoon of regular white vinegar. The broth evaporated, so we're gonna add another cup. We're gonna repeat this for about four to five times. And it's key that the broth is hot so that way you don't slow down the cooking process of the rice. And also stir once in a while. This is gonna be the fourth time that I add the broth. So at this point, you can add the mushrooms and three quarters of a cup of broth. Here we are guys, ready for the fifth addition of broth. As you can see, it's creamy. It turned in color because of the mushrooms. And we are gonna add at this point, the cheese and spinach. And this time we're gonna add only half a cup of vegetable broth. At this point, you need to taste it. The idea is to do it al dente, as Italians would say. So it's a little soft, but firm in the center. Not mushy. It's still too hard for you, then just do another addition of broth. Take a look guys, it's kind of soapy, not runny, it's very creamy. This is the point when you can stop. So that was about 20 minutes for me. If you know me well, you know that this is my favorite part. So we're just gonna serve a little bit of this. Risotto is great because risotto you can serve it as a side dish or as a main course. You could add sausage if you wanted to. Then we're gonna add some herbs. You know, fresh herbs always give a really nice flavor. Some cheese. And there you have it. But don't take my word for it. Make it yourself and leave me down in the description how the recipe went for you. And for now, I'm just gonna taste a little bit of this. so good it's creamy it's cheesy it's very soft and earthy because of the mushrooms it's really good guys thank you guys for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions comments just leave them down below in the description and i'll see you next week I really like this recipe because I really like this recipe because it's a matter of <sighs> what we need to do is start we're gonna cook it very slowly now.